You know what I need? I need a pontoon boat. Now the uh, family's getting bigger. Ain't gonna fit in my little tiny Starcraft anymore. So, I'm gonna do some shopping. Well, 1500 bucks. I mean, the price is right, but the pontoon boat, it's pretty crappy. However, the other one, not so much. So, had I have thought about making a video for this pontoon boat, I would have showed you the ad on Craigslist. But I forgot. So that's what that little intro was. But anyway, so this is a pontoon boat I picked up, 1500 bucks. It is the second to cheapest one on there. The other one is the one I just showed you, also for 1500 And they go from there. So this was the cheapest and best one at the time. And I don't think I've ever seen one for less than 1500 anyway, so price ain't bad. Now that Mercury outboard that's on it, it might run, but I'd rather not even find out because I don't want that thing. But otherwise it's not too bad. Pontoons probably float, and uh, that's about all it's got going for it really. Controls, top seats, they're all junk. It's about normal. Alright, battery's connected. Let's see if this works. No, it turns over. That's what I wanted. It's a trip and tilt working. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm looking at here. Uh, no. Motor's probably toast. Alright, engine is kind of propped up. I need to get it into the garage there to get the engine off. What a pain. Everything was fighting me. Nothing was stuck. Bolts came right out. Nuts came right off. The bolts through the transom, they weren't moving. Finally got those out after you know, many attempts at moving the motor around. The uh, controller cables, they sure didn't want to come out. In fact, I haven't even disconnected electronics yet, so I'm assuming there's going to be problems there too. But it should be free at this point. All right, it is finally free. All right, now I just need a motor. All right, this is the engine that I've selected out of my uh, collection. It is a 1993 Ebner Tracker, 40 horsepower. Uh, cables I took off of it, and uh, my other 40 horsepower, so it needs cables again. Also, since it's going on a pontoon boat, I'm not exactly going to use the touch trim system because obviously I ain't going to crawl in the back of the boat every time. So I'm going to slap a power trim and tilt unit in it real quick. But for now, throw some battery cables on it, do a uh, ignition and compression check, make sure we're okay there, and then we'll see what happens.
And even 150 on both cylinders is perfect, so uh, probably no issues here. And we have ignition on both cylinders via our uh, spark checker, which you shouldn't use. You should use the gap type. But it's best on. So I will install the trim unit and slap this thing on that post. almost done installing a new boat on my outboard. Uh, it's getting pretty sunny, so I'm going to adjust the top situation real quick. I picked up one of these uh, grommet installers for the tarp. Let's see how this goes. Now I'll go zip tie it on. This thing's looking better and better. All right, let's see what happens. This looks like a good pontoon boat propeller.
fun day out on the water yesterday. The uh, pontoon boat handles just fine in the water. Uh, obviously big waves are going to come over top, but you don't really have that many big waves down that river. Uh, one problem though is the wind. I was kind of eager to launch it to see how it does before I put any more money or work into the thing. And it was pretty pretty windy yesterday. A lot of, a lot of gusts and just a constant breeze. Getting it off the trailer wasn't an issue, but Getting it back on was kind of a nightmare with the wind. It kept pushing the boat sideways. Uh, the other thing, too, is the engine kept dying, and every time that did, the wind would just push the boat wherever it wanted. I didn't come close to hitting any rocks or anything or anybody, but it was a little concerning in the wind. So I don't really think a pontoon boat's good for the wind. Yeah, that little 14-foot Starcraft I had, that was that was fine in a little little breeze. Obviously, it wouldn't be the best in you know, gale force winds or anything, but it was fine even on days like we took the pontoon boat out in. So the engine's going to need work. Also, one of the reasons I really wanted to launch it was to make sure that 40 horse is going to move that pontoon boat around okay. I really like the 40s and 50s. I didn't want to have to go to a V4. There's just too many parts and too much gas. And the cost is a little higher. But I have one. So I'll probably start working on it, put it on there, and just see, a, see how big of a difference it is. But that 40 horse is going to need some work. Um, I think there's a cracked fuel sitting somewhere. Because all it was doing was sucking air, so it wasn't even pumping fuel. I had to sit there in the back of the boat with my foot on the primer and just keep pumping the uh, little bulb to keep it hard and keep the engine on. So when I stopped is when the engine died. It took a couple of times to figure that out, but, you know, it was, it was doable. I've done weirder, so it wasn't too bad. But yeah, it's going to need a water pump. Probably uh, reseal the gear case. Probably going to need a carburetor. But it does seem like... Carburetor work, I mean, but it does seem like the engine is, is pretty sound. Uh, power trim and tilt is also leaking. It doesn't go up very fast or very far, but it was good enough to get going, so I'll uh, be resealing that power trim and tilt unit. So, yeah, there's some lot of work to do. Just on the motor, I mean, that's not including the boat. It's going to need a deck, carpet, seats, interior. Somebody's got to scrape all the paint or calcium builds up off it. It's even on the lower unit. Uh, my, my father thinks it's paint, but... I don't know, I still think it's kind of calcium deposits because the outboard matches it too. Unless they painted the outboard, but I doubt it. So I'm going to try to get this thing on the bench, see uh, see the compression, see ignition, see if it's worth anything. I kind of lean towards no, but you know, you, know, you never know. So You might see a video for this thing, but hopefully I can just get a picture of it and sell it as is. Oh, also, uh, I had a lot of water splashing back into the boat. The faster we went, the more water came in. Uh, that's just a simple uh, adjustment of the engine. It's got to come up a couple of holes. But the engine's got to come back off anyway, so that's no big deal. Well, keep an eye out for future pontoon boat videos. Uh, they'll probably be a little while. you got to save up some money and then start sinking into it. But they'll be here. All right, everybody. See you next time.